welcome back. Well, these were the curtains I originally was going to have in Folly Beck Farm. And I'm not sure I should have really stopped making them because I think they actually look better than the end result now. But I'm sure you'll make up your own minds and nothing's set in stone. So I can always change them at a later date. So anyway, enjoy the video. Okay. <laughs> you all know me by now, I hope. And I am terrible for change my mind. So I just woke up this morning and thought, I don't like what I did yesterday. <laughs> it doesn't look right. It looks too heavy. So, oh gosh, I'm going to change my mind. And I think, don't be ever frightened to change your mind, basically. Do it. If you don't like something, just go ahead and change your mind. Whoops. Right. So I've tried this in place and I popped my door back into the house just to have a look and it looked nice, which is what that red is there. It's off the, I don't know why it rubs off, but it does. Anyway, but these look best in the middle post rather than like that because that's how I initially had them. And I was in an R in and I've tried it up here. It looked very nice from the outside. As you can see, it does look quite nice like that. But in the end, I decided... I'd have it like a cafe net, so I'm, I'm going to do it there. I might even sew that down yet, just to give me a little bit more room. Don't know. It's it is, it is like a finished edge. It's been um, the edge of a tablecloth, so it's um, yeah, it's got a nice finish on it to be honest. But I could turn that over. I just don't want to add this. It's like this bulkiness, isn't it? We're trying to avoid with curtains. So that's that would be like that, maybe. If I turn that over. And I don't need to, because like I say, it has got a finished edge. But it would look maybe neater. And then that would be like that. But you see, if I did it up there, which does look nice... <laughs> I could have put beads on the bottom and I was like, well, I'm desperate to put the beads on. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm going to be sensible and put it there, I think. I think I will fold that over and sew it on my sewing machine. I'll give it a run in the iron first. Yeah. So I'll get that machined. You've, I'll, I'll show obviously the curtains that I did. I'll show some of them, what, what the point we got to and how why I don't like them. But uh, you don't need to see me sew that, so I'll do that. Okay, after saying prestos, I actually meant drawing pins. Can't find them. But as I've laid it across and the, the fabric glue was going slightly off, it's actually started to stick. So I've just put a bit more of that on, put it across here and there and the sides, and it's stuck down nicely. So... Hey, result! <laughs> As you can see, I've done the piece ready um, for up here, but I'm going to put some sort of border around that first. But they will have all matching. I've got enough trim for all the four width front windows of this, and possibly even the inside actually, the uh, those side windows. But we'll see anyway. But yeah, it doesn't look that impressive from inside, but I agree. I honestly, when you see it in place, you'll see it looks better on the outside. So now I've got to. See what I'm doing about some curtains. Oh, <laughs> go and see what I can find again. I think I've got something, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, this is a complete experiment. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna have a video at the end of this because <laughs> this is like obviously the second pair of curtains, and um, I'm encouraging the fraying of this to make a little fringe at the edge it's very fine fabric but my thoughts are not to hem anything just fold that over and give it a the, as you can see it's ever so slightly bigger but hardly anything at all so maybe give it the I, I haven't decided whether to just stick it try and maybe put it down as it is give it a slight gather I don't know but at the moment I'm just like I say taking some threads out like that to give it a fringe on the edge, hopefully. It's very, very fine material, but what I found with the, the blue curtain over there is, and that is quite a lightweight 
fabric to be fair it just looks too heavy so this is literally the only alternative I have <laughs> and I know the pattern's possibly a bit big but I quite like it I just think it's quite um it's delicate and it's like very pretty as curtains I think it will look all right so anyway we'll see we'll see where we're going with it because I honestly don't know myself I know you think I probably try all these things out first but I don't have time to do that well keep your fingers crossed for me because like I said I don't know where I'm going with this it's a bit of a fringe isn't it I think we'll have a little bit more of a one personally I like a good fringe this is right I've um done this as you can see it is there's hardly any gather there at all I think maybe I should have Giving myself a bit more fabric, but I'm going to work with what I've got for now. I'm going to be brave and glue it down. Because um, I think that's probably the easiest way. And I'm, pr I'm planning on putting some sort of pelmet on here. And then I think, I think the way forward is going to be, once that's glued down and I've got it in the middle, put a little gather stitch in there where it's going to have the tie backs. Um... That's the only thing I can think of that might look okay. <laughs> so that's what, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the uh, fabric glue that I said was rubbish, but it's actually working all right at the moment. So I take it all back. We'll go with that. I'll just get it off my finger. The last thing I want is the, uh, it is really tacky. That's the curtain sticking to my finger, isn't it? <laughs> Get off. Right. So I think most importantly is first is to make sure that, that opening is in the middle. Which I believe that is. Like I said, I'm not too bothered about this looking amazing on the top because I am going to put a pelmet on. What of? What with? I don't know. I'm going to see if I can gather this. Well, I can gather it, obviously. But, um, oh, <laughs> helps if I have a knot in, in this particular case. This fabric does hold very easily. And that's not properly dry yet. So we'll just give that a little tacky stitch. Right, I've got to get this straight. So I'm just going to follow that line. Do you think, yeah, your knee? Let's get it straight for you so you can see. Yeah, for me, it would be about there. All right, what we'll do is leave that one there a minute, we'll leave enough thread on to thread my needle back up. Should I wish to keep it? And we'll just try something slightly different with this one. I think I'll try doing it at an angle like that. Well, obviously it gives you a bit of an uneven bottom where that one's probably a bit straighter.
but it does give you that nicer. Hmm, cute new. Or blouse, yeah, that one I think. I think that is better. Right, so I need to redo that one now. I'll get back to you when I've done that. I'm just making myself the simplest of tie backs. I just want a bit of frayed edge on it to match the rest. I'm not going to pull on that thread because I don't want any more out. Or do I? Do I pull on that one? It's out now, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> now you can see they're really bent. These are actually genuine Victorian studs finishing. Okay, it was making me nervous pushing that in. So what I've done is I've cut that one down. I've have put a bit of a point on it you can't really see it there so i'm going to use that one after make this one's made the hole to uh go in there and then i'll do the same with that one i just don't know whether this end is going to be sharp enough or not to go in we're about to find out i think we're in and we're not through, so that's good. I'll give it a little light tap. Ah. It's, it's all together. Right, I'll do this other one and get back to you. I've just made a very simple permit out of card. Yeah, I've probably put on a bit too thick. But hey, it'll be all right. Ah, well, it would have been. Be beaten by it. So, I'll be here till sunrise if I have to be, making sure this stays down. Okay, as a final little embellishment, if you like, I've just stuck the fabric to a piece of flat paper. It's actually the um, same as this paper, which is watercolour paper. I couldn't think what it is. And then I've cut round it, because the glues obviously will stop it from fraying. And I think... I'm going to put that there. Yeah, about there. Me thinks. Oh, never thought what that might look like from the other side. Damn it, I'm doing it again. Let me have a quick look. I might need to take that back off. Yes, I do. <laughs> ah! <laughs> After I've just got all the glue on. Good grief. Now I'm going to have to put another piece of the same fabric on the other side. Never thought of that, of course, like an idiot. But at least you get to learn from my mistakes. This on as well. I don't think, I, I mean, they shouldn't really mix because one's water-based and one's not, I suppose. But it should work. I'm just going to cut around this now. Yeah, I did think. Do I want a tassel? Or not? Am I going too mad now? Am I over gilding that lily? I could be, couldn't I? I should know when to stop. That's the thing. It's like now I should know when to stop. I keep going. Wait while you're ahead. Right, 
to that's where it's going there is some glue on there still but I'll put a bit more on okay so here it's in place I've put the door back on for the moment so I can show you let's see if that's it open I say it still does look a bit stark compared to the top but we'll have to see I still might tone it down yet and people have asked me about seeing on it so I need to do an experiment there as you can see Tobias and family are very happily sitting in there I was hoping to have an appearance of him this week but it's just not going to happen I'm afraid not really what I planned or what I had in mind but <laughs> That's my dilemma. So, ta-ta for now.